As Buster the Little Wooden Boat and Jack the Seagull were returning home one evening, they noticed the sun was a very bright red colour. This means tomorrow will be a very hot day, said Buster. Buster was right. The sun was extremely warm the next morning. Buster loved his job, but he knew that this day would be a struggle in the heat. Jack arrived wearing a big sun hat. Buster and Jack waited for passengers, but no one arrived. It was just too hot. For the first time in his life, Buster felt relieved there were no passengers. He was not feeling very well. All boats, stand clear. Buster entering the harbour, announced the harbour master. As they crossed the harbour, Buster and Jack could feel the scorching sun burning their faces. They saw their friend Jason the crayfish in his fishing boat, wearing a woven straw hat that he had brought back from a trip to Vietnam. Jason smiled and waved at his two friends. Jack waved back, but Buster felt so weak he could barely nod. Why don't you go home to bed, said Jack. But Buster said no, as he was never late for his job and had never had a day off. Buster felt weaker and weaker. He had a pain in his oil sump. Jack noticed smoke coming out of his engine. I think I need Peter the Hermit Crab, said Buster. As he said this, he stopped moving forward. He was too sick to go on. Buster, said Jack, I will get some help for you. Just stay where you are. Jack flew high up into the sky and started making his way towards the island. He saw Jason in the distance and caught up with him. I'll come at once, said Jason. I'll go and fetch the mother whale as well. When Jack arrived at the island, he could see Peter the hermit crab had shut all his blinds to stay cool. When Jack alerted him to Buster's collapse, Peter quickly fetched his toolbox. Peter drove his speedboat as fast as he could. All of Buster's friends arrived to find him over on his side in a deep sleep. No one could wake him up. We must get him upright again, said Jason. Everyone pulled and pulled. They got Buster nearly upright when suddenly he fell back over again. Jack went up close to Buster and whispered, Remember, Buster, that night when we saw the falling star? We made a wish that we would both live to be 100. Remember? We both wished we would be very best friends for 100 years. Altogether, Buster's friends pulled even harder. This time, they were successful. Buster was up and he smiled to his friends, but was still too weak to move. Peter opened his toolbox and the lid of Buster's engine. Jack offered to be his assistant and passed Peter the tools as he asked for them. Peter asked for the spanner first, then bent over to have a closer look at Buster's engine. Jack held the torch so he could see inside better. It was just as Peter had suspected. Buster had an oil leak. Peter used the spanner to tighten Buster's engine screws before returning the spanner to Jack and asking him for the engine oil. Jack found the engine oil and handed it to Peter, who carefully topped up Buster's oil. Peter asked Buster how he was feeling. Much better, replied Buster, and everybody clapped with happiness. Peter gave all the screws a final turn and gave Buster's engine a good clean. Buster thanked Peter and smiled to all his friends. As they left the island, a huge rainbow stretched right across the harbour. Look, said Buster, the rainbow has landed on the island. 
That means a pot of gold is there. Perhaps Peter the Hermit Crab is our pot of gold, said Jack. It is such a stroke of luck we have him as our friend. All my friends are my pot of gold, said Buster. My life is much better for having you all as my friends. <laughs>